so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys the titles that i bought and the ones that were sent to me in the months of june and july so welcome to my june lie <laughs> book haul hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's rachel here if you're new hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing i know that i've been on a break for quite a while and i said so on my social media that i was going to take a break from posting content on my youtube channel and it's just been really really refreshing and relaxing for me to just chill and not have to do any of that for a while i did a giveaway actually of atomic habits I, I gave away three copies of atomic habits that i got from roving heights because i just felt like that book was so amazing and it was so so life-changing i'm so excited that i got it. if you're looking to get a copy as well you can check the link in my description box because i'm going to leave the details down below you can get it from roving heights bookstore or amazon or your local bookstore near you so getting into what i'm discussing today i'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the titles that i bought in june and july it's the middle of july as i'm recording this and i am not going to get any more books honestly i feel like i've gotten too many books in this past three months or so so i'm just going to share them with you i'm really excited about the ones that i've gotten and i've already read you know maybe half of them so i'll share them with you i had some that were sent to me and i also had some that i bought myself so i'll start with the ones that were sent to me so well, i have these two amazing books uh a broken people's playlist by chimeka garrix and the mechanics of yenegua which were both sent to me by the publishers Masobe books and I was so excited when I got them because I really loved the covers I finished reading both books I put up a review of the mechanics of Yenegua and a review of a broken people's playlist is definitely going to go up soon I really enjoyed both of them and I I really had a nice time honestly like it was just I guess I was just really impressed with the cover the packaging and then I now opened it and read and had a lovely time so if you guys want to get some you can get from the publishers or you can also get from roving heights bookstore then i also had unfolding grace by kike lomo kuponi she sent this book to me so i'm already reading it now and i am going to put up a review of it soon so you guys can search for that if you're looking for nigerian christian fiction then this is a nice one for you guys i know that i'm always i was a little bit hesitant to do to read some nigerian christian fiction but i'm like oh you know what let me just open up my mind to see how it goes and then you know i'll know what's up and so far you know it's been great anyway don't worry you guys are going to see my review when i put it up so i had that one sent to me as well the synopsis goes bio had it made a rich father and good business acumen a beautiful professional fiance a new business that promises a wealthy future what more could he ask for things were looking good then god stepped in what happens now thus starts the journey of his life where he would need god's unfolding grace to come into the future pre-planned for him so like i said nigerian christian fiction if you're looking for that that's a very good one there then we did a giveaway at the readers hub book club and we won <laughs> we won copies of tomorrow died yesterday by chimeka garrix this book was published in 2010 so it was sent to us we won 17 copies of it so 17 members of our book club got free copies of this book and then we read it and discussed it i also read it and i'm going to put up a review of that i cannot believe that this is a debut novel like it's a really really good one and i'm so happy that i read it before i read the broken people's playlist because i mean well if you've read both books you know why but just learn to understand like his style of writing and just falling in love with the different storylines in the different books it was just so amazing this book is really 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 cool and you'll get to know why in my book review anyway okay then also i got this book sent to me by the author Hima David <laughs> when i saw this book i was so impressed with the title no no i was i laughed because it was just a funny one it's called i for don't blow but i too depressed phone okay my pigeon is really terrible i for don't blow i for don't blow i for don't blow but i too depressed phone let me read out the back that is <laughs> about the author wait it's not even like the synopsis let me just read out about the author 
He says, Hima David grew up in Lagos and Ogo State. He wanted to be a lawyer, then changed his mind and applied to study English and literature at the University of Benin. Midway, after a good first year and an okay second year, he changed his mind again and instead decided to leave school and focus on being the disgrace of the family. Him for don't blow through through, but then take pressing for swear for him. <laughs> so it's a memoir and it's written by him. I had not heard of him before, but I was like, I really need to see what this book is about and thankfully he sent me a copy so thank you Himara I hope I'm pronouncing your name well um so I can't wait to see what this book is about it sounds like something that is funny because I just don't even get I also had this book sent to me by Chio Zoe it's called memory of stone it's a fantasy book and I'm interested to see what it's about I don't really read a lot of fantasy but it seems like it's young adult fantasy young adult fiction um in that genre and i mean well the synopsis at the back of the book really seems intriguing so i can't wait to get into it it says finally thriving as a criminal in an infamous rundown city nicknamed the bottoms 18 year old nix is forced to leave to rescue her only friend when she is imprisoned for her damning discoveries she must do everything to regain her freedom even if that means losing everything she's ever known lawrence blade is a mask wearing commander and a living legend at only 18 coerced into a life at court he finds that not everything is as simple as death on a battlefield especially when he discovers secrets hidden down dark corridors in court when the attention of the king lands him on a dishonorable mission he must decide where his loyalties lie when their paths cross, they must discover why they are drawn to each other or remain enemies. In a world of magic and buried secrets, there is a thin line between normalcy and danger. So I know that earlier this year, I read Children of Blood and Bone and Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Toby Adeyemi. And they also fall into this young adult fantasy fiction world. And I enjoyed it, even if I typically don't read a lot of fantasy. But I mean, I was a huge fan of Harry Potter and a lot of other ones that had popped up. So I'm interested to see what this one would actually be like and i will let you guys know so those are the books that were actually sent to me by publishers and authors now let's get into the ones that i bought in the months of june and hopefully the till the end of july because i'm not buying any more books honestly seriously <laughs> i bought the girl with the louding voice by abidari and black sunday i think these books were like my june tbrs i can't even remember whether i made a video of june tbr or not but i bought black sunday and i bought a bit um the girl with the louding voice i also bought meditations by marcus aurelius and i well meditations of marcus aurelius he was a Roman emperor and he was a sort of stoic philosopher, like a later stoic philosopher. And this book basically just pens down some of the meditations that he had in different times and different aspects of his life. And you can see a lot of reflections of stoicism, which is a school of philosophy. So it's very interesting. I'm learning a whole lot about the stoics. I'm learning about where they originally came from and even modern stoicism and what it has turned into. So I'm actually enjoying it. I'm reading this along with Unfolding Grace at the moment. And then also I got Yuval Noah Harari's A Brief History of Humankind. First of all, this book is like, this book weighs at least 20 kg or something. It's mad heavy. And it's so funny how it says a brief history of mankind. And look at how the book is like. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, I couldn't even believe it was this book. I'm like, okay, yeah, a really, really brief history of mankind. So yeah, those are some of the books that I think, if I'm leaving anyone else, honestly, I'll go and look for it. But those are the books that I got this June and July. And I've enjoyed the ones that I've read thoroughly. The ones that I'm reading now, I'm also enjoying them. And I can't wait until I see how the others go. So you guys can stay around stick around and look out for my book reviews or my wrap-ups if i'm not able to do one i didn't do a wrap-up in june because obviously i was on a break and it's really too late to do one now so i'll just do another june lie wrap-up yeah i don't even know how i come up with all this mixing two months together but you guys get the whole idea so i'm going to do a july wrap up where i'll wrap up all the books that i read in the month of june and july so you guys can also look out for that let me know what new titles you also got in june and july in the comments and i will see you in my next video bye